Alright, let's talk about the synaptic stress drain. The clinical need for chest drainage arises when the negative pressure in the pleural cavity is disrupted by the presence of air and or fluid resulting in pulmonary compromise. Now, the use of this chest drainage is to evacuate this air and or fluid to re-establish the normal interthoracic pressure. This facilitates the re-expansion of the lungs and would restore the normal breathing dynamics. Traditionally, hospitals use the bottle systems which include the one-way bottle system, the two-way bottle system, and the three-way bottle system. The one-way bottle system is comprised of the water seal and drainage bottle. The two-way bottle system is comprised of the water seal and drainage bottle plus a blood collector. And on the other hand, the three-way bottle system is comprised of the water seal and drainage bottle plus a blood collector and an additional suction control bottle. Now the good news is we now have this synaptic chest drain. This synaptic chest drain is a single unit chest drainage incorporating a dry seal, a blood collection reservoir, air leak detector, suction bulb, and drainage. And the breakthrough of this synaptic chest drain is that is its um, single valve which is called the flutter valve. This flutter valve ensures low opening pressure and low flow resistance and it has as well an indicator of airflow. Um, it was actually developed to improve drainage efficiency and to promote patient mobility while maintaining a closed system. Take note, there is no tube clamping required. So that means to say that there is no even risk of forgetting to unclamp it. Aside from that, a manual suction can be applied by depressing the bulb in order to assist drainage. Which means to say that using this synaptic chest drain, it would be easier to drain air or fluid. And wait, there's more. Synaptic chest drains flutter valve operation is independent on the orientation of the valve and um, or the movement that it is exposed to. So that means to say that it remains in operation even if the patient is moving or walking around. Cool, right? What do you imagine that the patient can still move around or walk around even if he or she is carrying a chest drainage. Really, really cool. So, there you go. The synaptic chest drain.